Hey Wolfpack and welcome to Lisa The Pointless I've been wanting to play this game Wait, wrong one I meant Lisa the Faithful I'll get to the Pointless at some point But that is gonna be later For now we're playing Lisa the Painful Which I feel like is too loud Now my ears are dead Now I can't hear anything Hold on, let me turn this down Here, Hold on I thought I said this earlier but apparently I didn't You little thief what is oh there it is. There it is, got it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole her ball. Stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? Little bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to say keep it PG. I've already messed it up. I've already messed it up. There goes my money. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Well, I'm gonna go commit suicide now. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, whatever. Screw you guys. Oh. That's the guy I fought with in the war. I'm sorry you didn't have to cover for me. I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. See, we got all of our best friends here. We got Rickety Rick, we got Blondie, and we got Egghead. The true friendship trio. Quadro, I don't know. This is my neighbor's house. This is my neighbor, uh... Pedophile? Definitely not a pedophile. Ah, Bradley, when are you gonna learn, boy? Boy. -y. So this game is one of my favorites. It's actually my 10th favorite game of all time. That's why it's my favorite. The music is great. The gameplay is great. And also the, uh... Our style is great. This is also my house in real life. And that looks just like my dad. Except for, uh, uglier. Once again, my son sets into my house, beaten. Throw that bottle! And I'll buy I need another shirt! <laughs> I didn't want another shirt! Go to your room. Now. Oh, look, it's a baby. It's a baby. That baby isn't making right noises. That baby is not making okay noises. Block like always. Dang it. Yeah, you get in there. Go. Go. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Yeah, you cry. What a wimp. What a wimp. Look at this guy. He's just crying. Lisa the crying. Oh, now we got a baby. Oh, we cried until we were 30 years old. He took some joy. Now I'm happy again in the inside. Hey, look, we found that baby from earlier. What the hell? Um. Okay, little buddy. I think it's killing my ears. Why is it so loud? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I would do that to a baby too. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, 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 baby. Okay, it's okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, thank the Lord not can hear. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Get you somewhere safe. Let's go. I'm gonna turn it down even more cuz like I feel like it's getting re-picked up on my mic And if it is it'd be hilarious okay, Let's go baby Go oh, baby. I need to make sure I started the recording. Yeah, I did we're good Go baby 
beautiful baby. Come on, baby. We're going. Hey, look, it's Blondie and Rick and Egghead. Rickety Rick and their Egghead. Brad. What is that? Holy shoot. Is that a baby? Nah, it's it's uh it's a worm. It's a little worm. He's in his cocoon. He's about to get out a butterfly. Whoa, a baby? Where did you get that? I don't know, I just found it lying on the ground. Dude, wait. You know what this means? Babies do come from trees. That means there's a girl out there. Whoa, that means there's hope for humanity. Whoa. I bet she's super hot, totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> Professor Oak <laughs> over here. I didn't check. It's a Tumblrite! Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you just assume her gender? We need to tell someone. Rondo, if we come to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The Rondo army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's my baby now. She'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. <coughs> Give him a earlier voice. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what happened if anyone found out? I don't care. Okay, now it's too quiet. Because my headset is at 100, so maybe it's just me. I don't care. I'm keeping her. She's mine now. Screw you guys. Brad... I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. This is my second chance. He's Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. I don't want to let anybody hurt you, little buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really, I woke just woke up. I have no idea what I'm doing. I saw opportunity to record. I haven't recorded in three years. Build a baby. Oh, now they're making a little house. Look at Blondie. He's just standing there. He's like, I'm not doing I'm not doing this. Oh. Well, we killed it. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> wow. Why would you walk in the middle of a wasteland? And why is there a random beer bottle there? Oh, well, there's his dad. Dad lives in the middle of nowhere. Kill him. Yeah. That drug killed his dad. Oh, he turned Buddy into like a little girl. Oh, how powerful this stuff is. Like, I'm getting out of here. I'm finally free. And then Brad's like, no, you ain't. <laughs> you ain't free in my house. Get back in there. And then she's like, <laughs> I'm being held captive. And then Brad's just standing there. He's like, I have to get rid of this. <sighs> Gone now. And so is my happiness. So now I'm going to knit a fluffy sweater. Here you go, buddy. I have made this for you. It took me three years to make this. <laughs> three years! He looks like a serial killer now. This is the only flower left. Now you can make give me makeup. Oh man, Blondie's like 80 years old now. Look at him. Oh, how much time has passed? Hmm. Oh. Back for round two. Wow, Buddy became a baby again. Dang. I could jump like that. 
There we go. That's what he probably should have dropped off the other cliff. That was really bad thinking there. Rough, 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 rough. So that's a really long intro of this game. So now we actually get to start. Hey, you there. This world be wild beast won't leave me alone. I slay him, but I pulled my groin climbing, climbing this tree. Give me a hand, will ya? Poor man. Whoa, my friend, don't leave me hanging. Uh... Now it's too loud again. I killed somebody. Still arms on fire on this guy. Still too loud, oh my god. Just gonna hope that it's not too quiet when it records. Now I'm gonna have to like talk over it because it's so loud. Why is it so so loud? So in this game you kill dogs because you're PETA. We're just PETA and we're going killing dogs. You're pretty tough or worked out middle life crisis looking ball guy. A really, really detailed description. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you can handle- No! No. Not for this. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my H-string. Wow, you're like a real quarterback in real life. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been li having the land leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got lots of fans. You mean your mom? Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. If this balloon weren't, wasn't there, you would walk off this cliff and die. I'm just gonna keep turning this down. There we go. Balloon just saved your life. Thank you, balloon. I appreciate it. Gonna pick up this beer. Bizzle, bee, 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 bizzle. See here the hints that he leaves. Bottles are very useful. You can pick them up and you can drink out of them, even though they're empty. So now I need to pick which save file I want to overwrite. Let's just overwrite. Oh man, there's spoilers everywhere. Don't look, it's spoilers. Spoilers. Get them out of here. Get those spoilers out of here. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. You try to be revived, but be careful. You're on the. I like sleeping where I want. I sleep where I want. Yeah, I sleep where I want. No, no game to tell me what to do. So in this game. It's a blood massacre. Oh, Terry, you morphed into thin air. Secrets out, Brad. They got Blondie! He's gone. They got Blondie! Not Blondie! Blondie! I loved your singles! Such as Material Girl and Bad Reputation. Sorry, guys. The guy, there's something I gotta do alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone to close to me is missing. I need to find that person. It's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's so sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I do. Tag along, I guess. Considering I'm very sorry. My boy, Terry. You're gonna help me through this crisis. No, he's not. He's just he's sleeping. He's sleeping for a long time. Just sleeping. We're looking buddies room, huh? Picture of this guy that Buddy drew, because he's a great artist. Got this knife. I wonder if Buddy was the one who killed that person with that knife. Ka 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 ka. Found some mystery jerky. Now let's go see over here if there's any um thing over here. Oh man, there's a man. He's holding something. Yep, even in the apocalypse they got Coca-Cola. You can't escape the sugary goodness. Coca-Cola. Okay, right here. 
a lot of people fall off this cliff and then they stop playing this game. I've met, I've talked to at least three people that have fallen off the cliff. They just stopped playing this video game. So I'm not going to fall off that cliff. And if I did fall off that cliff, I would have quit this game. And then this video would have just been one part. Would have been a one part video. Out of my way, I want that little bee all to myself. We're going to kill this man. Walter Stingray. This is the man that killed Steve Irwin, everyone. So we have to get our vengeance. I should probably be doing the combos. Buster punches are WSS. Basically, you do the combos in the Armstrong style. See, I could do. See how it said the Buster punches said WSS, WSS, and it does the Buster punches in the combos. It does a little bit more damage that way. As you can see, Terry's doing way more damage than I ever have done. Do not get rid of Terry. He does a lot of damage. Kind of like when you're playing Pokemon and you have a Magic Carp, and it just knows Splash. It's about as powerful as that, and you just don't want to get rid of it because it's just so good. You just can't beat that. The old Sam is swimming down the stream tonight. He just exploded. He, he's, he's going. He's, he's going down. He's going on down. He turn it down even more. Soon it's going to be so quiet that nobody it can ever hear it. I think I turned it up. Oh well. He's dead. He's dead. They're all dead. Brad stopped bleeding. Nice. Can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. Hey man, that's not cool. He's dead. Everybody's dead. Isn't there something if you go this way? Maybe not. Oh, you just have to skip that guy. Screw that guy, he's ugly anyway. <gasps> wow, I'm better than game theory. I already found this. Freaking game theory wouldn't have didn't find that in like an hour. I missed something else back there actually, so I'm gonna go back. We Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your butt. Right, tough guy, you fell right in my trap. I sure did. I didn't totally didn't come back just to kill you or anything. Oh, big damage. I messed up the combo. It's WWF, isn't it? Uh This is called when the game freezes. The game has decided that it no longer wants to process. Ah, there we go. That's okay. Nobody ever cares about a little bit of freezy freeze. Just had a little bit of a hippie champ right there. It's all flicky flapped now. We're all flicky flapping good, good, good. Ow. All right, man. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys still search around in case you've already been through here. You got it, boss. Super duper drifters out. Super stealthy old man. Hello, sir. Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? You think that you can handle what's going on with that? <laughs> I'll give you a case. Oh, God, he brought the air raid! Terry, he brought the air raid! Terry, yeah, he brought the air raid! Terry, he brought the air raid! Don't you understand? Terry, he brought a lot more than the air raid. Terry, you heal yourself. He's going. Okay, Terror Terror Bear. You guard Terror Bear. Terror Bear, you need to heal up Rat. Terror Bear, no! Well, there goes his XP. Hopefully she's dead so I can see her in hell. He knows. Poor Terry, he didn't get any XP because he died. Oh well. It happens. 
you're dead. You're all dead. This is gonna be hard because Terror Bear is gonna be dead for most of this. Ooh, a football helmet. Eh. Did I grab it? Yeah, I'll grab it. Got a helmet now. Stop! This is the second time in my life I've been hit by a Coca Cola car truck. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's going. He's going. Look at him. He's coming. He's on that deer. He's got Bambi. That's what Bambi did after her mom died. Our past, yeah, has yet to cross again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it, like your head in a dryer. Normally, I'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now, but like your brand, let's have some fun. Give your choice: your yellow shirt friend's life, or all of your belongings. Use wildly. What will you give us? All of your belongings, eh? Well, that's boring. Hmm. All right, boys, strip up quickly. I hear tale that a female's on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. All of your stuff has been taken. Terry, get back here. I gave away all of my junk for you. Whoa, you look like hell. Are you okay? What happened? I just got hit by a truck. We got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, first my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's a good man. It's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Now the music just didn't know what to do. Like, he joined you again? Get out of here with that. Oh, I did it again. Oh, man, I was trying to dodge it, but I just I just can't dodge. It's like like me and freaking awesome. Not, am I right? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go in here now. This is one of the safest places in the game to heal. <sighs> Egg soup. Don't have bottle. Okay. Forgot he took away everything I had. Everything I loved. Whoa. Holy heck. Uh, who says holy heck? This is something funny you can do. Uh. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, well, I guess you're fighting this guy. Harry, you missed your only thing that made you useful. Hey, Harry, he just, he loves hitting you for some reason, so you just guard. My interesting, my intestines are in disarray. Here's a hint. You suck. I will. Oh. He's full of holes. Would you say he's full of holes? Ha 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 ha. Leave. Take your pervert war somewhere else. I want no part in this. No chicken man. That's illegal. Freaking chicken man. I forget where you need to go next. Usually I grind here. But maybe we'll we'll go get my boy. We'll go to town. Cause I played this like seven thousand times, but I haven't played it in like six years. So like I don't remember where everything is. So we're gonna go we're gonna go get our boy and then we're gonna grind our we're gonna get our party members and we're gonna grind off screen. That's what I like doing. Grinding. Off screen. It's my boy. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Oath and what happened. Many tales, would you like to hear? Yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh, well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. All right, so I'll start with what was, I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she brought it, bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a, like a plastic 
Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe she could put it ice in the glass? But then again, making home tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. A sneaky bee. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course. And suddenly, a stray, great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught between my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. I slid into my jammy, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? This is what my friend Joey would say. I'm a tall guy, I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Yeah, Joey only works out 10 minutes a week. Take that, nerd. Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plate Burger. Yeah, one of those women. She was more attractive than my wife. If she was soft six, or if my wife was a hard four, what's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? When my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me, she had to leave the best headlight on so she could read her book. One of her romance novels again. Give me a break. I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, I have to deal with these func fictional hunks. Aye, aye, aye. When I had already suppressed the urges of intimidacy, I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up in a big flash of light. That's about it. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you only want to hear another story, I'll tell you. <laughs> no! What's on a summer night sometime in July? Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs at summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I got rest her soul went to a barbecue. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Poor Connie Spooner doesn't want people in their home. I think she's just an uptight bee. At the barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, early in the day, my wife got her store and made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a kind of a mashed potato kind of fellow. Ho -ho. I sat in the TV room avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bee wife. God rest her soul, I don't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above medical wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. I remember those fork nights. He used to say I gave my wife God rest her soul a couple choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Some would be a real tongue lashing. Oh, there goes my voice for today. Dale Spooner's house. You gotta, not Dale Spooner, this is Nern's house. Uh, is this Nern's? This must be like a makeshift house, because I don't see no Dale Spooner anywhere. Where is Dale Spooner? Maybe he killed Dale Spooner. Dale Spooner's dead. Nern killed him. Well, we're not going to see Nern again. Hope you guys enjoyed Nern. He's a great... Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What, are you following me or something? Anyways... I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. These clouds, so strange. What happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a really kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in astrological publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Grant. He's some young man, woman, maybe boy, I don't know. Either way, that Chilo chi, can really grasp my attention, so I'm reading these magazines because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman. As I'm reading, I noticed something on the ceiling. I look up to see if there's water damage. You think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office? I guess he cares about his cool desk more than his patient's comfort. His assumedly big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big old watermelon. Just then a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly my attention is caught by a small child. I was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared quickly down at my feet and as an eye at the child, and that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. The horror. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit bored, but 
beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. My boy Nern is in my party now. My boy. My boy. Guess we'll go look at town. <laughs> Ugh, my voice is dead after that, but that's that's one of the best parts of the game. Can't lie. Can't get better than Nern. Yo, what happened to my man? You got a couple mags for me? I'm wearing your pack, brother. I had money, but stole all my money. I have a little interest in candle magnets looking for a stiff and all over. Enough mags to fit anything. This is gonna be our other party member. His name's uh Cookie Monster. He's a great man. <laughs> Just sit at this part. It's for you, Joey. Yo, he is bad at awesome knots. He feeds at every time we play. Bad, bad, bad feed, feed, bad. You deal with it. Aw, oh, not again. The last one already left. Freaking fine now. My baby now. Eh. I could climb up a rope. I don't even think I could climb up any of these ropes. Other poncho. Aw, oh, snap. Now I'm cool. Wow, we need to end this episode because, like, I just noticed it's going on for 30 minutes and I don't want to make 50 hour parts every single time. So we're gonna rush over to the save crow. gonna rush over that save crow and then we'll, we'll explore this town more later well maybe hello old chum want to invest in my wonderful products really worth your time sorry I'm poor can't even invest even if I wanted to you can see there's a diglet up there diglet we'll explore this town more in the next episode because this one's getting too long so I'll see you guys never